Hey everyone, welcome, I'm Kyle, your host for today's video. Westworld Season 3 Episode 1 Palse de Mien had some fantastic moments including the big post credit scene reveal, the Mave is in a new park called Warworld, set during World War II. In today's episode, I'm going to break down the In the Weeks Ahead trailer released by HBO previewing the next few episodes. This video does contain spoilers, so if you don't want anything spoiled, I highly recommend you turn this video off now, but make sure you subscribe to the channel as I will be doing daily Westworld videos, breaking down each and every episode, doing Easter egg videos, and some more in-depth videos. So the trailer starts off with whoever is in Charlotte Hale's host body saying, where am I? When Dolores left Westworld at the end of Season 2, she did so in a replica body of Delos executive Charlotte Hale. In her purse were five or more of her kind, which Vincent Castle's new character Sirach discusses with Maeve later on in the trailer. But by the time the season 2 finale had ended, Dolores had recreated her body and placed a different host inside of Charlotte. In episode 1 of season 3 Palsy de Mien, it seems that whoever is inside Charlotte's body at this point is confident, and it's someone that Dolores can trust to be one of her generals in the coming war between AI and humans. We already know that one of the pearls was Bernard, and his body was recreated by Dolores in the season 2 finale, and his pearl was put back in his body, which only leaves for other possibilities. Whatever host is inside Charlotte now has to deal with tricking the people who actually knew her. And this is why we hear Dolores say in the second shot of the trailer, let me show you who you need to pretend to be. Now, one thing that we have to consider is the way the trailer is cut that trailers like this are often intentionally misleading, so when a reveal does happen, that we get a more shocking payoff. We hear Maeve speaking with Hale later in the trailer when she says, who did she put inside you? Is that Teddy? Which is very, very interesting, considering Teddy killed himself after the core changes Dolores made to him in Season 2. But in the trailer, the scene switches to Martin Connell's played by Tommy Flanagan, who Dolores replicated, so I do believe there is a possibility that Teddy is inside Martin Connell's as well as Hale. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't Teddy, but there's a few interesting possibilities here on who could be inside Hale's host body. And I find this scene from the trailer particularly interesting, where she is snuggling with Charlotte Hale's host body. This to me signifies a closer connection, as she is showing affection in this moment, so personally, I actually think the strongest contender could actually be her father, Peter Abernathy. I do think that Teddy and Peter are the strongest possibilities here, and it's quite interesting since it would mean the consciousness of one of our favorite male characters is now uploaded into the host body of Charlotte Hale, who is played by Tessa Thompson. Next, I think that we should discuss Bernard and Maeve, who both have some very interesting scenes in the trailer. At the end of episode 1, we got the big reveal that Bernard would be heading back to Westworld, and that its location is confirmed to be in the South China Sea. I suspect that in episode 2 called The Winter Line, Bernard is going to have a pretty big role, considering we do see him return to the White Church in Escalante in the trailer. The scene is very interesting because during my research of the title, The Winter Line, I discovered some pretty neat history from one of the most important battles in World War II called the Battle of Monte Cassino. Monte Cassino effectively blocked the Allies' route north to Rome and had to be taken despite the difficulties of doing so from a military point of view. But from a religious and cultural point of view, there was also a famous monastery at Monte Cassino that would almost certainly be damaged by any attack or be destroyed. I found this beautiful picture on a history learning site with these destroyed trees and the destroyed church. And by the end of the Battle of Monte Cassino, the monastery had been destroyed, but the hill had been captured, leaving the route open to Rome. So I think this means that Bernard will pass through Escalante and the White Church to reach Maeve in Nazi-occupied Italy in Warworld. It also looks like Bernard will be connecting with Ashley Stubbs, who looks to be in the HQ of another park. I think we're actually going to get to see the reveal of Medieval World as we see more Game of Thrones-esque outfits in the background on these hosts. We explicitly hear Bernard say that he can't defeat Dolores alone to Stubbs, and we do hear Stubbs say Maeve, as he knows that she can stop and control other hosts and stop time much like Ford could in the parks. So it looks like at least part of their plan is going to be going to get Maeve in Warworld. One thing that is really interesting about the title of episode 2 is the actual meaning of what the winter line really is. 
The Winter Line was a series of German and Italian military fortifications in Italy. A series of three lines was designed to defend a western section of Italy focused around the town of Monte Cassino, through which ran the important Highway 6, which led uninterrupted to Rome. My personal interpretation of how they will adapt this in Westworld Season 3 is that they will have to pass through the lines of a dangerous medieval world and war world to get to Maeve. So getting to her isn't going to be easy, which makes everything more exciting. Maeve, of course, is going to play an incredibly important role in Season 3, and I suspect that we will see a lot more of her in Episode 2, as we did get the big tease in the post credit scene after Episode 1. I think that in Episode 2, we will be switching back and forth from Maeve's perspective to Dolores in LA, who is with Caleb. We did see that Dolores is with Caleb at the end of Episode 1, so perhaps we could see some mirroring and the return of Maeve's love interest in Hector in Warworld in Episode 2. Now, I'm not really sure about this, but they may save this for a reveal later in an episode like 3 or 4 where they want to be more impactful. It looks like Maeve will be teaming up with Sirach, played by Vincent Castle, so it will be very interesting to see how and when she gets out of Warworld to take on Dolores. My gut feeling is that since there's only 8 episodes in Season 3, that Episode 4 might be a good guess to when she gets out of Warworld. The Man in Black, William, also makes an appearance in this trailer, my personal favorite character from Westworld. We see him submerging himself underwater in a bathtub in what is a mirroring to his wife's suicide. He also shoots the mirror with a gun and looks like he is going through some major suffering as he continues to experience regret for killing his real daughter Emily in the parks who wasn't a host back in Season 2. It doesn't look like he's going to have much of a role until Episode 3 or 4, but I think we can count on him having a pretty big part in Episode 3, The Absence of Field, where the synopsis says, Some do not like what they see in the mirror, but shouldn't blame the mirror. The Absence of Field is actually a reference to a poem from the poet Mark Strand called Keeping Things Whole. In a field, I am the absence of field. This is always the case. Where I am, I am what is missing. When I walk, I part the air, and always the air moves to fill the spaces where my body's been. We all have reasons to keep moving. I have to keep moving to keep things whole. What's really interesting about this poem is that it deals with two separate things, the part and the whole. It illustrates that the parts are essential to make the unifying nature of the whole, and that nature has smaller parts which can be divided into separate elements. My understanding of this poem is that the poet has lost himself in the field which is exactly what we see happening with William with his scenes in the trailer. He wants to be part of the whole, not the part, which is why he's shooting at his own reflection in the mirror. It's something that all humans have to grapple with, even if we try to challenge the existence of nature and our reality. Which is very interesting because I believe that even though Dolores is dead set on bringing down all of these systems, that she will grow to care for Caleb. I think that she's going to understand that not everyone is greedy like these corporate executives trying to control everything and that innocent people like Caleb could get hurt in the process. So I think she will come to understand that Caleb is not part of the whole. I think it's possible that we see the inverse of what happened with young William falling in love with Dolores in the parks and that Dolores finds a strong connection with Caleb causing her to rediscover herself. The show is doing a great job at highlighting that humans are becoming more dependent on technology, which helps us connect with one another. But it also highlights how we are somewhat enslaved by it. I am super excited for the conversations this show continues to spark with its audience around the world, and I can't wait to see what the rest of Season 3 brings. In my next video, I will be discussing all of the awesome Easter eggs in Episode 1, Passe de Mine including all of the awesome music choices and what it foreshadows and helps contextualize in each scene. I also thought it would be fun to connect all of the awesome parallels between characters unpacking all of these awesome themes, and I thought it would be fun to do some mythology in talking about the bigger overarching mysteries that will be revealed throughout this season. Thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this, lots of Westworld content is coming daily on the channel. And most importantly, please stay safe during this incredibly difficult time in human history. I'll see you all in the next video.